Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad project. So let's get cracking. Friends, today we're going to make a brand new Code Blocks project. Please hit Create and choose Code Blocks. This is going to be a wicked cool ring, so make sure you go up here and put the word ring and put your initials after it. That way it's easier to know whose project's whose. So we're going to be building with code. And the first thing we're going to do is make some variables because this makes our life a lot easier when we change our project. So what we need to do is create variable, move over here, and then I need you to make all of these. The first one is wall. We click OK. I'm going to bring out the set just so you can see how this works. And I'm going to change it to wall. And then we're going to continue and do that for all of these variables. I'll put a list on the screen. Just make sure you type them all in. And then at the end, we'll check the list to make sure it matches mine. Now that we've made all of these variables, we can duplicate this one. And then we can duplicate that pair. So now we've got four variables. And finally, duplicate the last two. So we have all six. Switch these to be the same as mine. We need turn. We need height. And this is where you find out if you missed one, you can go back and recreate it. And then we need radius and finally X scale and Y scale. We do need to fill in these numbers. I'm going to tell you the wall number we want to use is 2.2. Keep the turn at zero. Set the height at nine. Set the radius to 11. Set the X scale to 0.22 and finally set the y to 0 0.35 make sure you double check the list so that yours looks just like mine now friends i said we're going to make a ring let me show you what we're going to make it with there is a shape if you scroll down called the tube when you bring this out expand its properties pick a color you think is cool i'm going to go with a blue and then instead of the radius we're going to go to our variables and we're going to drop that radius variable in there Instead of this wall thickness, we're going to go over here and drop the wall in. And then also, we're going to drop in the height. We do want to make the sides 64. And then we want an edge of 2 and steps of 6. When you hit play, it'll be a little bit slow since the speed isn't bumped up. But there is our ring shape. Now you'll note it's exactly at 0, 0. And it'll work better if we move this up. So we do that with a modify command. Bring out your move. And we need to move this up half of the height. Well, friends, we do that with math. And we bring out an operator box. If you think back, I said it was height. And then it was divided by. And then you put the number 2. Bingo. Now, I do want to show you this. I've watched a lot of kids try and put this side in. It doesn't work you need to always put the left side of the block in the hole then you can grab next to the math spot and remember this goes in the z box z is up and down x is left and right so let's increase the speed and hit play and bingo that's your ring we're going to add the letters with another command under shapes called text you can bring this out you can expand it you you must make it a hole and then pick a letter. I'm going to make mine say the roar. You can make yours say anything you want. I'm going to tell you for now to leave these multi-language and you need to put the number two in that height box. All right, friends, so watch closely when we hit play. And friends, check it out. That is way too large. But let me show you how we're going to fix it. We're going to make something called a template. When you move down here, hit create template. And we're going to call this letters and click OK. It gives us two pieces. It gives us a define template and it gives us the create from template. We're going to use that in a minute. Right now we just need to fill this one with smart commands to move our letter where we want it. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to rotate it. And we're going to keep axis X. We're going to keep 90 and we do need to find the math for the 0, 0, 0. This is going to stand it up show you real quickly snap that in place hit play bingo the T is standing that is step one of our template the next thing we need to do is move it so let's return to our move command 
and we're gonna build some fancy math here. Bring out a math operator, and then we're gonna duplicate that, and we're gonna duplicate that again. Several of these little math pieces. The first one is gonna be pretty easy. It is just 0 0.5. Make sure you see that you got that zero in front of it. And we're gonna switch it to minus, and we're gonna bring out that radius variable, and we're gonna drop it in the box. Remember, if you click right here, it'll slide down and get your variables so you can see them. Now we're gonna put this in the Y location. Boom, it snaps in just like that. Our next chunk of math is going to be height in this box right here. Remember, it's the left edge. And then we need to switch it to divided by. And I need you to put a two right here. So you've got the height divided by two. Now this piece over here needs to be plus and we're going to type 0 0.5. Now I did it like this to help it make more sense. We need this to go inside that box right there. So notice I went left edge and snapped it in. So you can see the green line shows that we have height divided by 2. And then we're going to add a half to it. And then once again, left edge snaps right in the box. Bingo, just like that. Now we already know that this was crazy huge. So let's go back to modify and I need you to find the scale XYZ command. Make sure you've got the scale XYZ because we need to put these values in here. Once again, go back to variables. We're gonna drop the X scale in the X box. Now friends, we need to bring out our Y scale and we need to put it in the Z box. Now this switches because we did this rotate around here. What used to be Y for the letter becomes Z because we rotated it. Now we can go back to modify and we're gonna move this around our ring by bringing out a rotate. You must change it to Z and we must put a variable turn inside it. This is the magic piece that makes this all awesome. Finally bring out a zero zero and then after this runs, we return to our variables and we grab a change. Make sure you've got a change, not a set and we want to change the variable turn by 30 degrees. At this point, friends, when you hit play, bingo, check it out. Your T is standing up, moved around, and on your design just like you'd expect. Are you ready for this? Duplicate, change to the next letter. I'm going to turn on caps lock because I want these all capital. There's my H. Now when I hit play, we have got a T and an H. I'm gonna go over here and duplicate the pair. So notice that was a pair of them. And I told you mine's gonna say the roar. So there is my E. Here I'm gonna backspace and leave a blank. I'm gonna do four at a time, duplicate. All my words, the roar, play, pop, 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 pop. There goes our ring the roar just like that. Now you get 12 letters. So what I'm gonna do real quickly is I'm gonna change these to orange. And this is just a superficial change. We're not really gonna do this. I'm just showing you how this kind of sticks afterwards so we can see how many are how many. So there you can see I've got those four and those four. Now when I switch them, this still stayed orange but it's easier for me to count that I've got eight letters there. Now once again, we get 12, so I'm gonna duplicate the orange chunk. I'm gonna put those down below. Once again, I'm gonna switch one of these to green and green. Heh, notice I did one too many, so I'm gonna back up and reset that one, make these green. But it is essential, they have got to be holes when it's done. So this is just so I can see better how these are laid out. So now I'm switching them all back to holes. Hole, 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 hole. Double check that or it doesn't work. Now I don't want any more letters, so I'm just gonna backspace here so that these are all blank. But if I ever wanted to have a different phrase, I can instantly adjust it. Friends, there you have it, an awesome ring. The final step is to go over to modify and add a create group so that it turns into one piece and it is ready for 3D printing. How cool is that
Now, real quickly, I want to talk about ring sizes. You need to figure out which size you need. And then notice the ring diameter is right here. So I usually wear like a size 10 or a size 10 and a half. So if I know this 19.8 or this 20.2, I can return to our project and adjust these numbers to fit. So the wall is 2.2 or a total of 4.4. So if I bump this up to 13, I will now have 26, take away the four. So it's about 22 millimeters, which is that size 10 I wanted. I can move over here and hit play. All of a sudden the ring adjusts, the letters move out. And after a moment it groups. And just like that, it is ready for 3D printing. To send it to your printer, you will first need to export it. You probably want the STL, and then I always save those to my 3D modeling folder. Because we named our project with our initials, bingo, we can just hit save and send it to the 3D printer. At this point, friends, you should return to your desktop. And then you can publish this design. To do that, you click up here, click on the properties. Of course, give it a cool name and then you can give it a description. Of course, mine says tutorial coming soon. There are different ways to reach out to me. Don't forget, you simply copy that link and paste it in the browser. Also, make sure you add some tags. And friends, if you ever add the tag HLMT23 to any of your projects, I check that almost every day. And of course, when I see your designs, I will give you a reaction. Finally, click on public and then make sure you get down here. And I always choose attribution, no derivatives, because I want you to come up here, follow that tutorial, and gain all these epic skills. When you're done, hit save changes. Just a heads up, if you want to create a second ring with different words, the smart way to do it is to simply hit duplicate. Bingo, you'll be in a copy and you never lose access to your original project. Now I'm just going to quickly click and change these to say HL Mod Tech. Once again, speed it up. I'll change the ring color just for giggles. And let's hit play and watch it come to life. Bingo. HL Mod Tech, although I missed the letter D. How funny is that? Real quickly though, reset, play, bam. The HL Mod Tech 3D printable ring. One more note, you can switch to other sorts of letters. There are four styles and you can fiddle with these versions. If I hit play, you'll see here now my H has much smoother edges. One final reminder, if you back out to the desktop, that's how you can get to the gallery. Friends, when you get to the gallery, the first thing you'll see are all the staff favorites. Remember, if you ever see one of mine, there will likely be a tutorial, and of course, those reactions are always appreciated. You can also quickly shut off the staff picks and see all the cool designs people are making. I always like to turn on this button so I can see more at once. Of course, if you see a design that you think is cool, you can click on it and give them a reaction to let them know it. Also, as we just built a code blocks project, check it out. When we click it, there is our project. Once again, that tutorial will be there soon. And as always, those reactions are appreciated. This looks like one of my tutorials. That is absolutely awesome. I'm going to click on that one and check out this awesome table well done friends i do want to take a moment to remind you about my website hlmodtech.com i've got a page dedicated to tinkercad with a ton of amazing categories and then down below that you'll find the day one favorites the useful starters and some tinkercad essentials of course i also want to remind you about the sweet built-in messaging tool you can click that button add your question comment or suggestion and reach out to me almost instantly Friends, please also note there is a link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a ton of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.